Welcome back to our solar electric trailer journey. We're so glad you've joined us today because we are going to talk about 12 different trailers that we considered along the way to choosing the one that we actually want. And as you're watching this, we are out inspecting a trailer that we hope to buy. So make sure you come back next week to see what we bought. Yeah. So uh, the first trailer we considered it, and we we found a list uh, somewhere else that we uh, that we worked from. But the first of the the bunch was uh, the Opus Op Light trailer, which is uh, you know kind of a ruggedized trailer for off roading. It weighs twenty three hundred and eighty pounds. Yeah, so it's a pretty heavy trailer. Yeah, and off roading is not my thing, and it might be yours, so you might really enjoy this. But this. W is not for us, so we did not choose this one. You know, we, we don't look toward, and who knows <laughs> what we'll discover when we start doing this, but we weren't really looking for a trailer we could take into the back country. Uh, so this didn't fit, and, and of course, we, we knew in the earliest days of trying to evaluate what trailer to get that we couldn't tow anything over 2,000 pounds with our Chevy Bolt, so we excluded this one pretty fast. Uh, the next trailer on the list, and in, I'm going in reverse order of weight, uh, so heaviest to lightest. Uh, the next lighter trailer was uh, the Coachman Clipper uh, 12.0 TD XL, and uh, it weighed 2,147 pounds. Uh, it really looks like a great trailer, but we didn't give it much serious consideration because, again, it's over our weight just limit. Just too heavy. It's a nice trailer, but it was just too heavy for our car. And I would also note it doesn't look like we can stand up in much of it. Uh, maybe half the area of the trailer is uh, only about five feet tall uh, or less. So uh, it's not designed for people to stand yeah. up in. And I'm feeling like I'm a little too old to crawl around <laughs> inside my trailer. So Yeah, not, not doing that anymore. Yeah. The Coachman Clipper LS 806 XLS is the next trailer on the list, and it weighs just 1,642 pounds. So this is a great trailer for people who are looking to tow with a smaller vehicle, a small SUV or a, a sort of a normal sized car. Um, it's a conventional uh, pop-up trailer, you know, with the two sides poking out, and so it makes for a a uh, really spacious little trailer. Um, but there were a couple of others that were lighter weight, similar style, that uh, appealed to us more. So. Yeah, and we just didn't quite, this, yeah, this one was just not for us. It didn't, didn't suit what we wanted to do. Yeah, it really comes down to the weight on this one. Uh, there were a couple of uh, smaller, comparable trailers, and so we moved on. So the, <clears throat> the next trailers, on the list are a pair of virtually identical uh, trailers made by the same company but uh, sold under different brands. The Forest River Flagstaff 176 LTD and the Forest River Rockwood 1640 LTD. Um, they're really small pop-up trailer, uh, you know, tent trailer style things. Again, these these end up being very roomy inside, right? Because there's so much that you fold out, and it leaves the the center place of the of the uh, tent or the of the trailer for you know living, it's, cooking, and stuff. Yeah, you could stand up in the middle part of it, but to get into the bed part. Yeah, so you have the, to crawl into that. Yeah, that that's a very small downside, but the you know, for me at least, the the key issue on this one was again the the weight. Trying to go as low as we can. We're feeling like the most we could possibly tow is 1600 pounds we concluded, and we want to be as far under that as possible. So at 1465, these two trailers uh, as appealing as they are, weren't quite in the sweet spot yeah. on, on yeah. weight. Didn't quite do it. So the next one that we looked at is the uh, Coachman Viking Express 9.0 TD. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's like its uh, counterpart that we talked about above a little bit, but um, uh, this one is even smaller. And so again, the, the space inside, diff a little more difficult to move around. There's a pop-up portion but also a portion that doesn't pop up over the bed and it just 
just doesn't feel yeah. roomy enough with that top, that low ceiling. And so I didn't, I didn't yeah. especially like this you one. You know, if you have no problems with your knees or your joints and you're able to crawl into some of these and don't mind not standing up too much, then um, that might be one you like. Yeah. So we, we chose not to do that one, as tempting as it was. The next trailer on the list was the 1,310 pound Taxa Outdoor Tiger Moth. And this one is really a, really a cool trailer yeah. for people who want to go out, you know, into the outback, out yeah. in the back country kind of camping. But again, we're not, that's really not our direction. Wow. And so we didn't feel that that was appealing. And I'm not rugged enough. That is not does not appeal to me at all. Yeah, th this trailer has a uh, essentially a spare bedroom on the roof. Yeah, and that that gives it a lot of, a feel of extra space if you are uh, 25 <laughs> and uh, or 13 and can, and can walk up and down stairs. <laughs> yeah, up the ladder. The night. The, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for for a middle-aged man with a, a prostate, I'm I'm feeling like I need to uh, not be <laughs> climbing up and down a ladder in the yeah. middle of the night. So the next one on the list is the one we chose. Uh, so we're a little past halfway. We're toward the smaller end of the the, the trailers, but this is the 1174 pound A-liner Scout Light, and uh, it is a, a pop-up trailer, kind of a but but rather than a tent, it, it's it's a triangle or, or almost a, a pyramid shape, uh, and it has hard sides. So it's a little quieter, a little better insulated. Still plenty of area inside where we can stand up. Yep, yep. Easy to get into the beds and comfortable. Yeah, so it's... Uh, we'll have to kind of convert it every morning and every evening that we're in it, uh, right? From sleeping mode to uh, living Maybe. mode. <laughs> But, uh, and it's tiny, but at 1174 pounds, we're confident that we can tow it pretty safely, pretty easily with the, uh, yeah. with our Chevy Bolt. So. And we can put some solar on that. Yes. That's one of the great features of this particular trailer is that it's got a, uh, a great roof where we can oh. uh, have solar panels all the time. So whether it, we're towing it, the solar panels will be outside or whether we're parked, the solar panels will be on display and, and, and uh, can be pointed yeah. at the sun. So um, for our efforts with the, with the solar panel as a goal, um, this was a great trailer. So um, we're excited. We're excited about that one. The 1160-pound Turtleback Trailers Getaway is probably the most rugged trailer <laughs> on the list. Uh, so again, you can guess from our comments go. about the rugged camping say, that's go, probably not for us go look this one up and get it so you can see what it actually looks like it's incredible yeah and we'll have pictures on the post with the in the show notes for this if you're listening yeah. all the pictures are yeah. there if you want to pop over to see that and on the youtube video we'll incorporate the photos but you know the next one that really got our attention though was that it's a little tiny trailer called the sylvan sport go trailer and it has it weighs just 840 pounds so the weight was perfect yeah and in fact there's a youtuber uh, that has a chevy bolt who yeah. tows one and uh, so we you know had the extra confidence that yeah. we could uh tow this one because we've seen it done with our vehicle uh, which was kind of uh, a fun coincidence um, but ultimately the sylvan go uh the sylvan sport go trailer is a tent on a utility trailer yeah. and yeah it's a great vehicle uh, for uh, folks, especially if you've got a little ATV that you'd like to tow in addition yeah. to having uh, kind of a camper. It's a great setup, but we don't anticipate ever having a, an ATV, so that utility doesn't, yep. and, doesn't really add to us. And I want more of a bed I can actually sleep on rather than sleeping in a tent. Yeah. The last two trailers on the list are really designed I wouldn't say necessarily primarily for, but they're designed to be towable by a motorcycle, uh, by a big bike. And so it's, these are really quite small, but remarkably big given that yeah. objective. Uh, so, you know, this is, uh, these are trailers that are so small they could be towed by just about anything. Um, the, the first one is called a Camperoo. 
uh, weighs just 725 pounds, uh, and the the bed ends up kind of at bed height. Uh, but the way it's designed uh, is that the the ta the trailer kind of works like a clam, and you open up that clam shell, it puts the the roof of the trailer as you're towing it on the ground as you're camping. And the result of that is we can't put solar panels on the roof of the trailer because they end up on the ground. So we'd have to have them loose. Uh, and there's, beyond the bed, there really isn't any furniture. There's room to store stuff. So you can take toys and, toys and, and with that weight, stuff. you could add yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. But it really didn't get us it, what we it's, wanted. It's, we definitely want to be able to add solar. To, to make the experience so much nicer for us that so this one just wasn't going to work for us. So uh, the next one is from Time Out Trailers, really the same deal. It's uh, essentially the same design, different manufacturer. Uh, again, the, the roof of the trailer as you're towing it becomes the floor uh, in the living quarters. And so, again, we can't do the solar on it. So we didn't give that one serious consideration. And I apologize, we don't have a good photo of that one. But it is quite similar to the Camperoo. So as you're looking at the photo of the Camperoo, you can get a sense. Uh, and links to all of these uh, trailers and their vendors are in the post yeah. if you visit our yeah. our webs our uh, our show notes, uh, if you will. Yeah. So while you're watching this, we are out inspecting a trailer. Yeah, so this, you know, come back next week and we'll yeah. give you the report on what we yeah. find. We we may own uh, that A-Liner Plus or A-Liner Scout that yeah. we were talking about yeah. earlier in this uh, episode. So fingers crossed, We'd we'll love, have news. We'd love to show that. So make sure you come back and tune in next week to, for us. All righty. And remember, if you enjoy what you're seeing. Yeah. Like it, share it, comment. And subscribe. And subscribe, yes. <laughs> See you next people. week. Thanks. Bye.